Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Gym Box Weights. We've got 30 minutes of some weights. Um, we're going to go with some medium and some light weights. So if you don't have hand weights, just grab something in the room that's heavy that you can lift and lower, and we're going to do a lot of body weight. So let's just get going. <clears throat> All right, feet hip width apart. Nice and easy. We've got to get your legs warmed up. So just start off with a nice, gentle squat. Going to work on some technique and some form today. A little kinetic chain. So while we're squatting, I just want to talk about five points on your body that I want you to be aware of. First point I want to be is the feet into the ground, making sure that our feet are nice and solid. You can feel your toes, feel your heels. The next point is your knees. You always want to make sure you have nice soft knees and they're aligned right down the center of your feet and behind the toes. Your hips, your pelvis is nice and neutral and soft. Your shoulders are down and back, so there's not a lot of rounding and folding going on here. And your chin is nicely tucked. Inhale and exhale. So if you just think really tall posture, no matter what you're doing, that's a really, really good sign. Eyes up all the time. Try not to look at the floor too much. And that'll keep your kinetic chain in line as well. Nice and easy. Just drop down. We're going to bring one knee up. Just get the joint warmed up before we start putting a lot of load on those bodies. Inhale and exhale. We're going to do a total body workout today with a little bit of compound movement. That just means that we're going to add two muscle groups together and work them together at the same time. See if we can be really efficient. You can always set the weight down and take a break anytime you need to. Anytime it feels right for you, take that break. Last one. Slow down your squat. Down two. Down. Two. And up. Again, down two. Down. Now, as you do this, I want you to hug your inner thighs toward the back wall and draw your belly in nice and easy. Down. Two. And up. Now, take an assessment in your body. Squats can be a lot of weight. If you need something for balance to hold on to so you can maintain, that's awesome. Sometimes just your body weight is plenty on a squat. Down. Two. Now we're going to open the shoulders. Check it out. Down. Two. And open through the shoulders. Drop it down. Reach forward and open up. Two more. Down. Reach the fingers forward and open through the shoulders. So pull the shoulders back as you reach through the arms. Instead of rounding through the back, and opening up. And three, reach your tail way back. Two more. Way back in that chair. Last one. Ooh. Let's take this a little bit faster. Warm the shoulders up. Reach. Push. Push. Five. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Can we go the other way? Down and up. Drop down. Circle back down, circle back. We have some shoulder work today, so we're going to make sure we get on that. There's four, and three, two more, two, up, and one, and shake your legs. Just shake and turn your body. Rotate through your spine, kind of get your back warmed up. We've got some squats. We have some back work, upper back work. We're going to work on the rear deltoid today, which is kind of hard to hit, but it's a really important in muscle group. Muscle group, muscle. Want to make sure we hit that today. Bring the elbow through, just four more. Four, three, two, here we go. Grab your weights. Okay, a nice, light, easy set to start off with your legs. You're just going to start with some squatting. You do not have to use hand weights. You can just hold on without weights. Feet hip width apart, shoulders back, slide the weights down two, drop down, down, two. So feet are hip width apart. Push back in your heels and keep the chest lifted. I'm trying to slide the weights down just behind my knees. Again. As you're dropping your hips to the floor, pull your belly button away from your thigh as if it's really hot and you don't want your belly to touch your legs. Keep going. Some of the work here is actually the weight pulling on your body. So really tuck those shoulders back. Don't forget that kinetic chain in the shoulders. And up. Again, down. I'm gonna work different rhythms and times with the weights. One more. Down. Okay, give me eight singles. Eight singles. Drop. Eight. Seven. Chest up. Six. Really work hard to keep your chest and your eyes forward. Four. And three. Just two more. Two. Now take it down to the bottom half of the squat. So down and push. I want you to float like a balloon though. Floating like a balloon. Four more here. Four, good. And three, a little bit lower. Two, all the way up. 
down two again. Here we go. Drop down two and up again. Down. Now we're going to be using your shoulders today in a compound fashion. That means I'm going to add that to some of our big leg groups. So we won't do a lot of single shoulder work. Four more of these. Should start to feel your legs just a little bit here. Oh, and if you don't have weights, it's okay. You can still just put your hands overhead without the weights. Last one. All right, eight singles. Drop it down. There's eight. And seven. When you stand up, can you make sure that your knees are still nice and soft and you're not giving me that little pelvic tuck? It's totally cheating. Totally cheating. Drop down, bottom half, bottom half. You want to keep that pelvis nice and neutral. Ah, four more here. You should feel those. Four. Ah, three. Two more now. Two all the way up. Boom. Shake your legs out just a little bit. Okay, when we tuck forward like this, we actually release the legs and we just squeeze our bum. We want to keep the load in the legs. So stand tall, but keep the pelvis nice and neutral. Bring the weight to the shoulders. Exhale down two. Back up. Keep breathing. So you have the choice with your shoulders to put them here. You can drop them actually on your shoulders if you need to, to get a little bit less resistance in the upper body. Or you can take them wide when we start pressing. That's gonna be the hardest. So for right now, just set them on your shoulders. Give it a rest. Down. Again, elbows in. Oh, we're gonna start adding the press. Drop down and press with the shoulders. Drop down. And again, just like our legs, we want soft elbows at the top. Up and press. Down. Up. Four more. Four. Now I'm going to ask you to bring the weight just a little bit forward. A little bit forward. Two more. Mm. Last one. We got singles. Ready? Drop it down. Down. Seven. And six. Think about smooth with the weights. Four and three, two more, two more. Last one, bottom half in the legs and float your weights. Float your weights. So they're just holding. Now if that's too much, please put them back on your shoulders or even drop them down to your sides. Four more, four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, shake it out. Not bad. We've got one more set. One more set to go this time. The hand weights are going to be wide. So your elbows are going to be out, but slightly tucked forward, kind of to the diagonals of the room, not way back here. Okay, two count squat. Whew. How are your legs doing? <laughs> Heart rate coming up just a little bit. One more round of the squats. Hold on. And then we'll go into some back work. And again, here we go. All right, bring your weights up. Elbows. Now take your weights out to the side and slightly tuck your elbows underneath. Okay, this is gonna be a hard one, so if this is too much, put the weights down and just join us with the squats. One more. Up, starting with that press. Drop down, two. Now I'd like you to try and press straight up as if this were a bar, rather than circling in, because again, that's letting go. If you do it once, you can feel how that just lets your shoulders go. We don't wanna cheat this. Four more of these, down and up. Oh and down. And if you find you can't keep your shoulders back or your tummy tucked, I need you to drop the weights. Okay, keep that kinetic chain in line, please. We got some singles. We got eight of them. Drop it. Eight. Six. Five. Four more. That's it. Four. Three. Two. And drop it down. Bottom half. Bottom half. Drop. Float the weights. How are your shoulders? Oh my gosh, six, lower. And five, just four more. Bring it in and drop the weights if you need to. And three, just two more. Two, and one. Stand up, shake it out, nice. Whew. Okay, whatever you have that's your heavier set. We're gonna work deadlifts today and I wanna go over a little bit on how to make the deadlifts more effective so you can feel them. Grab your weights. A lot of the times when I see deadlifts in, the, in, uh, in classes, People think that that flexibility thing is what we're looking for. And I'm not looking for flexibility. I'm looking for connection to the hamstrings and the glutes. So what I want you to do is take your inner thighs and push them toward the back wall. That's gonna make your bum come up a little bit. So push your inner thighs in 
and then stand up and draw your belly in with your inner thighs pushing back. It's called an inner spiral. You can feel the floor connect and you can feel the hamstrings kick in. Okay, grab your weights. Long spine, shoulders back. Inner thighs back, abdominals in, pull it in. Shoulders tucked way back. Now drag the weight down to the tops of the knees. Four, stay here. Now I only want you to go as low as about the tops of the knees, maybe a hair lower. And if your low back is straight, back up. Bend your knees as much as you need to to keep the low back straight. Four, three, draw the inner arches of your feet together and try to pull in and up. Good, you see my shoulders like go? That's not good. Half the work here is trying to keep the weight, my shoulders back. Down two, that's good. Down two and up. Abdominals in because you're flexing at the spine. So I need you to pull the belly button toward the back and use your core to stand up. Your back is going to work. There's no getting around that. So try to let your core help you out. Arms are floating and slightly tucked toward the body. We just don't want them clear out here. That's a lot of strain on the low back. Down, two, up, keep it up, down. As you're floating down, we're gonna do a lot of these, so hold on. As we're floating down, push those sits bones back and up. Again, again. Up, we're gonna go down slower, up one. So drop it down, three, two, one, lift. See, I didn't need to go fast, even though it was a single count. I still have control. Good, good, how's that feeling? The backs of the legs should start kicking in. Sometimes they take a minute. Oop. So now that we've got it, I want you to start to tip into your toes just a teeny bit more. So you're lengthening the crown of your head forward. Back to twos, we're done with these. Back to twos, we'll round one. And up, again. Down, pull the belly button in. Just two more, please. Down, two, last one, down. Two, take yourself to a half squat. Drop down. So shoulders are back, knees are bent. It's a sport ready position. Now tip forward, arms down and row. Bring it in and back, in. We're gonna do rotation with the row. If your back is hurting or this is too much, stand up, take a break, and then join me again. Five, four more, four, three, two more. Okay, your right foot goes back, one row. Pull this arm in, pull it in, pull it in. Now if you need to, set this weight down for a minute. Nothing wrong with that, pull. You're squeezing your shoulder blade into your spine, into your spine. Squeeze it in. Seven, down by your hip. Can you bring the weight down a little bit lower so it's not up in your neck? Four more, four, three, two. Now take it fly, go wide, go wide, fly. Now this is gonna be hard on the core because you're off balance and you're only using one weight. Just four more of these. Four, nicely done. Three, two more, two, and one. Change weights, change legs. Step back, open your feet up into a lunge. You can hold both weights if you were on the other side, please do. Drop down, shoulders back, and start to row. Slide it in, slide, good. You'll notice if I bring it up here, it gets up in my neck, okay? I need to bring it down and back into my hip. Squeeze my shoulder blade in toward my spine. So lighten your grip. Try to imagine the weights, your hands don't exist. And only thing you have to pull with is your elbow and your back. And just float that weight up towards your spine. Nice long spine, you just got eight more of these right here. Eight, seven, and six, nice. Five, just four more now. Four, three, lower, try not to get lazy. Big squeeze, half an inch higher. You have eight flies, eight flies. Go wide, seven again. Reaching out with the weight, trying hard to pull in toward the spine. Four, three, two, and one. Set it down, shake it out. Shake, okay. Release your back. Now what we're gonna do is put those two together. Rows with flies. You have the option if you have the core strength and it feels okay to sit in that squat and do it. 
right? Or you can go to one leg and I'll coach you to go the other leg when you're ready. So shake it out, grab the weights that feel good for you. Or the can of peas or whatever it is you're holding on to. Here you go. Start with a gentle squat, down two. Just down and up. Nicely done. Just down and up. Two more, please. Two more. Down and up. Last one. Down. Take it down, soft squat. Goes down, shoulders back, chest is lifted, and we're not way down here. Just soft squat, ready? Easy row. Goes row, fly. Row, and fly, nice. Row, fly. Okay, I'm gonna give you an option to make it a little bit harder. You choose to stay with this or come with me. Row, just gonna add some legs into this. Boom, row and fly. So you're adding just a little bit of a squat into your row and your fly. This is gonna take the heart rates up. Again, row and fly. Four more, four, three more, three, ah, two more, two. Nicely done. Last one, up and set it down. Set it down, release your back. Release your back. One more set of that. One more set there. If you did one leg on the lunge, you're gonna go to the other leg. Not too bad. Whew. Drop. If you need to go with a lighter weight, or you feel like you can go with a heavier set this time, change your weight. Change it up a little bit. Feet hip width apart, shoulders back. Squat it down. Eight of them without movement. Tummy's in strong. Row. Row. Fly. So. Elbows tight, elbows wide. Everything you do has those shoulders pulled away from the ears and your neck is nice and long. Fly. Four more here. Four. Pull those belly buttons in, pull them in. Three. Mm. Two more. Up. How long is your spine right now? One. Add that squat. Row. Pull, uh, up. If you're in the lunge position, you're just moving that front leg. Row and fly. Four more. Row, right? Fly, three more. Three, uh, two more. Pull at the back, two. Last one, uh, and fall. <laughs> Set it down. Uh, shake it out, release your back. Take a nice deep breath in. Okay guys, biceps and triceps. Biceps with a little bit of shoulders, triceps. Starting off with the biceps first. Grab the weight that's comfortable for you. Shoulders back, this is nothing difficult. Palms are comfortably forward. You choose, again, compound movement with the shoulders. So up two, down two to start, up two. And down, again. Okay, chest is lifted. Want to be careful we aren't doing bicep curls like this. We're teaching our body to be here, and I promise you are here enough already. So open up, up, two, down. I don't want to talk about something else too while we're standing here doing bicep curls. Take your fingers and your hands on your weights, and I want you to death grip the weights, like squeeze really, really hard. Ugh, where do you feel that? You'll feel that in your forearms. That's not where we want it. So I want you to lighten your fingers up, or really light, maybe even lift your pinkies. If you lift your pinkies up, you can't death grip the weight. And then hug in, up. Two, think light fingers, light fingers. Up. Now where do you feel it? Yeah, right up in the bicep, right? Good, good, keep going. Up and down, up, up. Four more of these, four. Full range, all the way down, but only 11 o'clock at the top. We don't want to come all the way in because, well, that's cheating against gravity. One more, up, two, check it out. Compound movement goes up, two, slight diagonal out, bring it back in and back down, good. Now, you know how far the range is. You can feel it. You don't want to go where it's in your neck, okay? It's not how far away you can get it from your body. It's how can I control the movement. In, good, and down, one more time. Up, exhale, 
bring it in. Can we go a little faster with that? A little faster. Up, out, in, and down. Nice. Up, out, in, and down. Up, out. <laughs> Biceps, shoulders. Four more. Four. Three more. Three. Just two more here. Two. Last one. Up. Bam. Set it down. Grab one heavy weight. We're going to come back to those. So don't put them too far. Grab one heavy weight. Feet hip width apart. If you have weights here, take it up. You can choose two arms or one. Go in triceps. So elbows in, shoulders down. Down two. Check it out. Down two. And all the way up and squeeze. Down. Now triceps is one of the few exercises that I actually want you to lock your arms out and squeeze, okay? Now you can stay with a double hand if you need to, but I'm gonna have us go with a single hand. You choose if this is what's gonna work for you. Squeeze it up, it's a heavier set. You can even give yourself a little assist if you need to. Back and up. So you wanna take the weight as far behind you as you can without straining the neck or the shoulder. And up. Two more on this hand. Last one. Back. Switch hands if you're on single hands. Goes back. Two. Now I like to put my hand here and then my wrist on my forehead because it helps remind me to keep my elbow back. If I do it here, we tend to kind of let the elbow pop forward. And we want that back behind the body. Again. Lengthen, hug in and up as you go. So you want to be hugging in and up. Two more is all. Up. Last one. Back. Two and up and bring it in. Okay, grab those hand weights again for shoulders and biceps. One more round of these, one more round of overhead triceps. Then we draw in some kickbacks and you're done with arms. Shoulders nice and steady. Open up. Here we go. Right to left this time. Single curl. Right and left. So instead of the two count curl, we want to change up the counts. Keep your wrists nice and straight. Another mistake that we make with biceps is we go like this. We curl the wrist in and we flip it out. We just want to keep it nice and straight and long, but focus on pulling from the bottom of your wrist. Don't flip it. Just think about that spot on your arm. Up, chest up. Beautiful. How about just eight more of these? Can we do it? Eight more. Eight, seven, six, Four more, long spine, four. Keep the knees soft, three, two. Here we go, both arms together, one slow. Up, two, up, two. Up, now push it out. Long, bring it in and down. As you do that, really pull your shoulders in the back, down and back, and in and down. Temple, here we go. One, out, in and down. Two, out, you just have eight of them, and down. Three, out, in and down. Four, out, ah, oh, five, out, and six. That means, let me see, eight minus six, that's just two more, two more, two, see? I'm brilliant at math, I'm brilliant. One more, up, ah, oh, and hold, shake it out. You can either cross the weights and go heavy or just go with one again. Take it up, shoulders back, let's start with two, just back. Two, range of motion is the key here. Going on one hand, here we go. Singles, back we go. Down, up, down. If this is really uncomfortable, you can start right off with the kickbacks. I'm cool with that. Just two more. Last one, quick switch to the other hand. Other hand, down. Seven, six, five, four more, four. Double arm kick back. Two more. Last one. Grab your other weight. Grab your other weight. Shoulders back. If you want to go one arm at a time, you can. Tuck it in. Elbows in long into your side. So not high, long. And you want to reach the weight as far as you can behind you. Here we go. Goes back and in. Back and in. Now you'll notice I'm not coming all the way in, right? That's totally using momentum. We just want to come parallel to 90 degrees. So slow it down and think about the squeeze. 16, 15, you can be here. 14, 
13, 12, 11, 10, long neck, nine, eight more here, eight, seven, six, there's four more, we got it, four, count in your head, three, two more, listen, little trick here, set the weight down without the weight, go, kick, 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 you're just gonna straighten your arms out, straighten them out and lock, tummies in, shoulders back, four more, four, and three, <laughs> and it's a little instructor trick, and squeeze it out and hold, pulse it, up, shoulders open, pinkies to the sky, six, five, open up, four more, four, three, longer with the arms, longer, and one, shake it out, shake it out, ha, huh. crazy how much we don't use those, Okay, rear deltoid, really quick, we're gonna do one set of these. The rear deltoid is the muscle on the back of the shoulder. It opens and rotates the shoulder back and helps with posture. So because we're like this so much, we don't use this muscle. So we're actually gonna come down onto the mat onto one knee for this one. I'm gonna fold my mat in half so I have some extra knee support. You're gonna take a weight that is not too heavy. Not your heavy weight. And come on. Oops, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can sort of see on a diagonal. But the weights are gonna come away from the body, okay? Lunging it in, and you're gonna pull up like a scarecrow. It just goes up, two, and down. Right here, up, two, and down. So pulling with the backs of the shoulders and the elbows go really wide. Up, two, down, again. Up, two, now if we bring the weights in, we're sort of cheating. So try to keep them wide. Here we go. Up, two, wider, wider, wider. The weight stay under your wrist, ready? Single time, here we go. And lift, and down. I know you're feeling it here. And it takes time to get into that teeny tiny muscle. So shorten your range of motion and just barely lift it up. And up, and pulse it out. Here we go, you've got 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Push your pinkies out. 10, pinkies away from you. Eight, seven, six, five, hit me four, three, two, and one. Good, that's enough. Cause I'm sure your traps are firing. Just gotta get used to those, get better at them. We'll do them again next time, but pull with that middle of the shoulder back there. Stretch, okay, stand up. We've got lunges just to finish off. Gonna finish off some lunges with shoulders, and then we'll be all done. So medium weights if you wish. The lunges are also one of those things you can do without weights for a long, long time. So let's just start with the basic lunge. Two count lunge, stand tall. Step it out, drop down, bring it up and step back. Out, drop. Oh, the things I could talk about in lunges. And up, here we go. Step it out, drop it down. The knee stays behind the toe. We've heard that, right? I want us to do a 90-90 lunge. So I want your hands on your hips so your pelvis stays neutral. One of the biggest things we see is this little butt sticking out thing. Where we stick our butt out, we drive our chest down. So we got this alignment thing going on here. I wanna work both legs. Tuck it down, okay? Drop, down, and up. Step it. Don't be afraid of stepping way out there. I'd rather you step too far out than step too close and let your knee travel past your toe. This is a lot less risk. Stepping too far out, here we go. Oop. We got some single lunges, drop it down. Drop, drop, down and up. You know what guys, we got about a minute and a half. We are just gonna focus on the lunges. Just the lunges. Heel to toe. So imagine there's a bug underneath your foot. Drop and squish it. Drop and squish it. Mm. Hopefully you can't hear my feet. Landing nice and soft and absorbing that lunge. One more, slow it down, down two. Step, drop, in, push up. So I only want you to come up a half an inch and then lift off. Step, drop, half an inch, lift up tall. Drop, just four more of these please, four. Lift it up, tummy in, three. Two more. Oh. Hug your inner thighs in together, just a little bit for balance. 
and for efficiency. Hold it down at this time. Step, down, up, down, up, down. Oh, how are those legs? Four, don't give up on me and start doing this. Nah, uh, uh Be strong. Two more. Two, hook, drop it down, and pulse it. 16, 14, 12, collar, 11. Yes, you feel it here, but try to focus on this front leg. Just two more, lower, lower, half an inch lower. Step back, switch, drop it. Down, two, up, again, down, two, singles, drop it down, 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 you ready? Got your 16 bottom halves on this one. Little pulses, drop it down. 16, 15, 14, lift, 13, 12. Okay, it's uncomfortable, can you go a half an inch lower for eight, seven, six, Five, just four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Oh, how are your legs doing? Whew. Really quick stretch, guys. Really quick stretch for your body. Release your back for me. Release your low back. Not a ton of compression, but still had some. Ah, oh, let's let our legs go for a minute. Take a nice deep inhale it up. Exhale, bring it down. Hands to your thighs. Just round up through your back, round it up. Oh, do that again, inhale, breathe. Bring your hands down to your thighs, lead with your chest, and now roll it up. A four, three, two, and one. Grab your right foot. Grab your right foot, knees down, hips forward. Need something for balance, that's awesome. Shoulders back. Now try to pull the foot away from the glute a little bit and open to the hip joint. Two, switch, quick switch for the quads. Oh, how about a little 30 minute get her going, right? Four, three, two, one, step back. Shift your weight back, good hamstring stretch. Oh, lift it up, I forgot it was so long ago we did those deadlifts, forgot we did them. Only grab and toe if your spine's nice and long. Try not to round through that back. Switch legs, switch legs. So we want the sacrum lifted. So you're pulling your sits bones up and back instead of rounding and reaching. We want to stretch from the hip, not from the spine for the hamstring. Nice shot, bring the knees together, roll it up. Quick shoulder stretch right here, tuck it down. Feet hip width apart. Shoulder away from the ear, pull the hand across the body and gently tilt to the neck. Tricep. Fingertips between the shoulder blades, inhale, lift up. Other tricep. I know, I know, I know you're getting antsy. We gotta go, I know, hold on, hold on. Can't walk out with one lopsided arm. Other side, drop the shoulder. Tilt your head. Give me an icy breath, inhale, breathe it up. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Oh, that sets the day, that sets it. Thanks you guys for coming, we'll see you next time.